Lord led me to the book of Job because Job knew about stress and suffering. But he also knew that God was the answer. I'd like to look at the 23rd <clears throat> chapter of Job. And there we will find these print words from the King James Version of the Bible. It's making our point of interest at the first verse of that chapter. Then said Job, then Job answered and said, Even today is my complaint bitter. My throat is heavy. In my wrong. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his seat. I would order my call before him and fill my mouth with argument. I would know the words which he would answer me and understand what he would say unto me. I will plead against he will will he plead against me with his great power? No, but he will put strength in me. Therefore, now the righteous might input dispute with him. So should I be delivered from ever from my judgment. Amen. Job knew about suffering. And you have to understand that stress has three stages of stress. But when they get to the third step, it's called chronic stress. And chronic stress means that you have to get some help. Amen. And I want to talk about how you're going to handle stress. Amen. We're stressed all over the world now. Not even just the United States. Our children in school are stressed. Because we never saw a time like this. We're stressed in the time we live. But how are we going to handle stress? It's something you can't do by yourself. When God is truly present in the council, where you get it from your mama, your daddy, your pastor, friends, or picking up the Bible and reading God's word, wherever you get it from, amen, God's word is, is a counsel because it speaks to you. If you pick the Bible up and read it, it come alive from the printed page, amen. But sin is, but sin can be redemptive, accepted, and honestly disclosed as the Holy Spirit leads us. You do know that God got a person inside of you called the Holy Spirit. Wounds and trauma that still binds us. Things we thought were dissolved uh, that was simply live in denial about can be revealed and washed away. In the supernatural healing, oh yeah, Jesus is magnified and glorified and is now known to us as a fellow sufferer and a divine lover. Yeah, we live in a mean and cold world. An angry world, a unholy world. That's why Jesus said that he would ask the Father, yeah, to give us his Father it help, the spirit of truth, to abide with them and teach them, amen, whatsoever they should do. But our problem is our own mission. Many times. I say many times. 
Many of us didn't pray to God about the one we were going to marry. We just got married. But God was the problem. That's something we chose to do. We are trying to stay in something that God did not want us to go into many times. Listen, if you will stay in it, whatever you're in, I want to remind you that anxiety will destroy your life or other person's life that you're with. God is able to help you and help us. Amen. For he is able. God is God is a too loving. I say he's too loving not to help you. God who put witness in the cloud. God who put dog bark in the dog. God who put hop in the rabbit. Yeah, if you're going to go through the feeling of anxiety, you got to know that God loves you. Oh, yes. And if you're going to hell, my sisters and brethren, it would be because not because God didn't love you. Amen. God loves you. Amen. He want to keep us from going to a bad place like hell. When God gives you a dream or a vision, because be careful of the company that you keep. Some folks will hold you down or hold you back. Oh, yes. They don't want you to go to a high step in life, a high place in life. You know, a rocket have to release the end object on it to get to a high height. Amen. And so people who are with you are unfriendly about the height that God wants you to go. Yeah, you got to know when to uh, know where God wants you to go and you got to get rid of those friends that hold you back. Look at that person that you're with. Don't have the vision you have. You have you have it because it is your vision that God has given you. Yeah, if it is, if is a two-letter word, if in the middle of life, that will call your anxiety in life, the if. If it hadn't been for the law, the Bible tells us on our side, if thy right hand bend you, cut it off. These are some ifs. Yeah, my sisters and brethren, if you forgive not men of their sin, God will not forgive you. Your forgiveness is not for the other person. It is for you. Amen. And so, uh, God got blessed for you and I. But you can't get them hauling all that junk around on your back. Right. Amen. Unload yourself. Get rid of it so you can sleep at night. Amen. Make no difference about the expensive pillow you buy on your bed or the sheets you sleep between. <clears throat> Amen. You won't get no sleep. If you treat people wrong, Amen, and try to go to bed and sleep, Amen, sleep won't come. You need to have a little talk with God. Amen. And so, early in the morning, and we realize that in the Bible days, the camel used to carry heavy loads. Amen. And sometimes when, in the morning time, he had to bow down mm -hmm. on his knees yes, and get loaded with the load that he was going to carry that day. Mm -hmm. And all through the day, sometimes when he would carry the heavy load and the sun was hot, 
and he becomes sweaty. Amen. The owner had of a, of a person that with him had to cause him to bow down and tighten up the load that so it would slip on him. Amen. And at night, the camel would have to bow down again. Amen. So that he could rest from carrying the heavy load because he couldn't sleep well with a heavy load. That's why God wants us to bow down and pray to him because we're carrying heavy loads. Amen. We're no different. We have to bow down to God and he will get beneath the load that we're carrying. And we are, and we can't stand the star of life sometimes if God don't help us. For he is more than enough. Amen. He is enough for somebody else also. Amen. That cries aloud. I say he is more than enough. Look at the treatment, stress, and anxiety. A comprehensive approach to war is stress. Amen. The uh, philosopher responds, the cognitive, the emotional, the relationship, behavior, spiritual, and lifestyle factors all in act to trigger and overcome the cause of the, the effect of stress, strain, and anxiety. Amen. The clinical practice uses, utilize the conventional, scientific, proven combination, behavior therapy along with med medication for more moderate and serious anxiety disorder. However, these treatments are helpful, but not everyone uh, achieves com complete recovery. I may get better for a while and then they relapse because the treatment was, was not sufficient for the complaint of the healing. Mm -hmm. Or you know people that have went, amen, and tried to get rid of their anxiety, but somehow or another, something just didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And so you got to understand that to enable lasting recovery. The whole person and their life need to get better. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't do any way you want to do it, say the thing you want to say, and think you can get rid of the stress without going living the right life for God. Right. Amen. You got to be a better person. Mm -hmm. Ain't God to redirect the fear and the provoking thoughts and overcoming negative behavior as an integrated, amen, Christian counselor, I bet these there change the growth of such healthy lifestyle and getting us back on the right track. Mm -hmm. Did you know diets and exercises and overcoming anxiety, proven personal traits, uh, interpersonal conflicts and greed, spiritual hope, strategy for reducing the and managing stress. Remember, if you are in the will of God, God got you. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you are in His will, it don't mean that God won't send you through a little hell every now and then. Yeah. Amen. But He want to get your attention to let you know He's God, mm -hmm. and that He's there to help you every step of the way. Mm -hmm. But you got to get in a place where God can use you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You, you are somebody. Amen. And somebody here have heard about Job. Amen. From a little boy up. Or from a little girl up. We have heard about this character in the Bible called Job. He was the richest man yeah, in the East. The man with seven sons and three daughters. Amen. Somebody heard about Job. Mm -hmm. Job would tell us today. Amen. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Job was a praying man. He prayed for his children. Yes, sir. Amen. He prayed for himself. Mm -hmm. But prayer, amen. I said, but prayer would change things. Oh, yes. Yeah. I said, why were 
through yet you will not let me speak. But Job said, I just want to, yeah, go to God in the courtroom. I want to stand on the carpet. I want to, yeah, get his attention. Yeah, I try to be a good man. Well, oh, no fault ought to be found in me. Yeah, it should be evil, whatever evil was. Yeah, I just want to get close to God. I just want to talk to Him. Well, you know, I lost my seven sons and three daughters. I lost my cows. I lost my sheep, my she asses. Well, my wife started talking foolish. Yeah, telling me to trust God and die. Well, I made up my mind. Yeah, I had to be born in a sinful world. But uh, I'm not giving up on God. I just want to talk to him about my complaint. Yeah, I can see Joe. Yeah, going in the courtroom to talk to God. Ain't the Lord all right? Just a little talk with God. Every now and then will make everything all right. Yeah, my sisters and brethren, when you get down and out, I want you to know it ain't nothing you can't take to God. Oh, just have a little talk with him and everything will be all right. Joe will tell you, yeah, if God takes some away from you, he'll give you more than you had at first. Yes, he will, my sister and brethren. Yeah, with this man, Joe, kept talking to God. Yeah, but God, yeah, told Joe, I didn't need your advice. When I hung the sun in the sky, well, I didn't need you, Joe. When I took the moon that made it a lesser light to rule the night, where were you, Joe? When I didn't need you, where were you, Joe? When I hung the sun, hung the moon in the sky, I didn't need a step ladder. I didn't need a step ladder to hang the stars in the sky. But I want to know, Joe, where were you to give me advice? Uh -huh. I hear Joe hung his head in silence. Yeah, it's all the days of my point of life. I'm going to wait until the change comes. Those skin ones may eat my body. Yeah, I know my Redeemer lives. In the latter days, he will stand upon the earth. I shall see him for myself and not another. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah, whatever you're going through, I want to let you know that God got to just hold on to his unchanging hand. Oh, he might not come when you want him but oh he's always on time don't give up on God because God hadn't gave up on you yeah he's more with us than the whole round world against us just keep on calling on the name stay on bend the knee keep on keep on Look it up until the hill from which cometh all of our help. Yeah, all of our help come from the Lord above. Yeah, if you are stressed out today, just keep on calling on the Lord. Yeah, he is our very present help in the time of need. Yeah, this Jesus of ours. Yeah, he went through a lot of stress, but he didn't quit. The hill got high. Yeah, the valleys 
got no, yeah, but our Jesus kept on working, toiling, yeah, for you and I, they led him up a hill called Calvary, yeah, I wasn't down, but I heard how he did for you and I, he took the cross upon his shoulders, yeah, walked up the hill, yeah, ain't he all right? Yeah, he fell down. They got Simon to help him back across. But he went on up the hill. Down they laid him down. Did the worst to him. They nailed down in his hand. Yeah, they put a crown of thorns on his head. Yeah, after they hung him up on the cross, they speared him. In the side, I came blood and water. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah, he hung down from the six to the ninth hour. Kept on hanging down. He died for another man's sin. Yeah, but I want to tell you, after they, uh, yeah, took him down, they put him in a bar or two. But yeah, early that Sunday morning, yeah, joy bell started ringing, yeah, hands start clapping, yeah, heaven got satisfied, yeah, man, sin has been redeemed, ain't the Lord all right, Jesus rose that we may have salvation, he got up early that Sunday morning, yeah, every time I hear the story, yeah, a little joy bell get in the heart, a little clapping get in my head, a little running get in my feet, what Jesus has done for us, we ought to run and tell the story all over the world, he is risen, yeah, got up that Sunday morning, yeah, just for you and I, I'm glad that when I get stressed out, I can pick up the word, read about what Jesus did for us. Got it. Yeah, that Sunday morning, we ought to be glad to have a friend.